Assalamu alaikum students and a very good morning to all of you. Hope all of you are doing well. As you all know the COVID-19 pandemic has affected educational systems worldwide leading to the closure of schools, universities and colleges for the sake of your safety and protection. So SM Public Campus 5 has started online classes to keep you safe and protected from the effects of coronavirus. Through these online classes, you will get all the knowledge as you were receiving during school days. Meanwhile, staying safe at your home. So students, welcome to the class 4. I am your social studies teacher and my name is Nida Sahar. So let's have a look of your social studies book and copy. This is your social studies book that you are going to study in class 4. This is your classwork and homework copy. It has 160 pages. It is 4 line interleaf copy. And this is the inside look of your copy. So let's begin. The first chapter which we are going to study is the earth in space. In this chapter, we are going to learn many interesting things about the earth and space. The few main points which we are going to discuss in this chapter are Number 1. Shape of the earth How does earth look like? What its shape is called? Number 2. Particular terms related to the earth and its movement Number 3. What causes day and night and changes in seasons? Number 4. What are satellites? Number 5. What are orbits? So students, before starting the chapter, here are the meanings of some terms and words that you should know. These are just the meanings. We will get into the further details afterwards. So here we go. Astronaut. A person trained to travel in a spacecraft. Orbit. The path of the planet, globe, a spherical model of the earth, hemisphere, half of the earth, rotation, movement on an axis, revolution, a circular movement around another object, imaginary, things not actually or visually present, axis, an imaginary line through the center of the earth. Equator. An imaginary line round the middle of the earth. Solstice. Either of the two times in a year when sun reaches its highest or lowest point in the sky. As we all know there are eight planets in the solar system. Mercury, Venus, Earth, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus and Neptune. Do you ever think why life is possible only on the Earth? Because Earth is the only planet that has water, that has air and it is not very far or near the sun. These are the things that has made life possible on the Earth. So let's talk about the shape of the earth. How does earth looks like? According to the scientists and the researches they have made and pictures they have taken from the space with the help of satellites, they have proposed that earth is like a huge ball. Not quite round. A ball is round. Earth is not round. It is flattened at the top and the bottom at its north and south poles. This shape is called a sphere. Earth has a spherical shape. Okay, so let's talk about an orbit. What is an orbit? The specific or a particular path of a planet around the sun is known as orbit. As we all know, there are eight planets in the solar system. Every planet moves on its particular path, which it does not change. As you can see in this video, in the center there is a sun and there are colorful lines around the sun. These colorful lines are imaginary lines, means they are not actually or visually present, 
but these planets move on their particular path which they do not change these path on which the planets move are known as their orbits when we talk about the earth and its movements we use some special terms and words here are some that you should know first look at the picture at the top there is a north pole and at the bottom there is a south pole there is a line running between them this line is called axis axis is an imaginary line running from the north pole to the south pole through the center of the earth the earth is tilted as you can see in the picture 23.5 degree on its axis the different seasons and climatic conditions on the earth are caused by the tilt of its axis places that are located at the north pole and at the south pole are cold throughout the year because they do not receive any direct heat or light from the sun now as you can see in the picture there is another line running through the middle of the earth this line is called equator equator is an imaginary line that runs all the way round the middle of the earth equator divides the earth into two equal halves that is northern hemisphere and southern hemisphere hemi means half and sphere here representing the earth so hemisphere means half of the earth places and the countries that are located at the equator are hot throughout the year because the equator receives energy from the sun at a more direct angle than the rest of the planet let's talk about the movement of the earth first we will discuss the rotation of the earth so what does rotation means rotation means the movement and the spinning of the earth on its own axis as you can see in the first picture here is an arrow it is showing the movement or rotation or spinning of the earth on its own axis earth completes one rotation in 24 hours or a day rotation of the earth causes day and night as you can see in the second picture one side of the earth is facing the sun and the other side of the earth is not facing the sun the side that is facing the sun is brighter and experiences daytime and the other side that is not facing the sun is darker or cooler and experiences night let's talk about the revolution of the earth revolution means a circular movement of an object around another object the movement of the earth around the sun is called revolution as you can see in the first picture there is a sun and there is a earth the picture is showing the movement of the earth around the sun the earth moves on its particular path on its specific path around the sun and this path as you can see there is an imaginary line this imaginary line is its orbit its specific path every planet moves in its own orbit the earth takes 365 days or a year to complete one revolution the revolution of the earth causes seasons the different seasons we experience like summer winter autumn these are due to the revolution or the movement of the earth around the sun here in the second picture you can see there is a sun and there are four different positions of the earth in the first position there is a spring in the northern hemisphere and autumn in the southern hemisphere in the second position summer in the northern hemisphere because it is directly facing the sun and winter in the southern hemisphere in the third picture there is a winter in the northern hemisphere 
and the summer in the southern hemisphere because it is directly facing the sun in the fourth picture there is autumn in the northern hemisphere and spring in the southern hemisphere so the revolution means the movement of the earth around the sun so here is the animated video to describe the earth's rotation and revolution the earth's axis as you all know the earth's axis is slightly tilted at 23.5 degree the earth rotates on its axis this movement is known as rotation the rotation of the earth causes day and night the movement of the earth around the sun as you can see the movement of the earth around the sun is known as revolution the earth completes one revolution in 365 days the revolution of the earth causes seasons like the different seasons which we experience winter summer autumn and spring are due to the revolution of the earth here is the term solstice solstice means either of the two times in the year the summer solstice and the winter solstice when the sun reaches its highest or lowest point in the sky at noon marked by the longest and shorter days of the year in the northern hemisphere the sun reaches its highest point in the sky at midsummer that is 21st june which is the longest day and at its lowest at midwinter that is 22nd december which is the shortest day of the year each of these two times is called solstice this process is opposite in the southern hemisphere let's have a look of the picture as you can see in the first position the northern hemisphere the sun is at its highest point that is the midsummer and the places and the countries located in northern hemisphere experience the longest day of the year on 21st june while the countries and the places located in southern Hem southern hemisphere experience the shortest day of the year on 22nd december because the sun is at lowest now look at the second position in the northern hemisphere the sun is at its lowest point so the countries and the places which are located in northern hemisphere they experience the shortest day of the year on 22nd december while the countries and uh, places located in southern hemisphere experience the longest day on 22nd december so can you tell in which country you live the country in which you live where it is present in northern hemisphere or in southern hemisphere yes the country which we live in it is present in northern hemisphere because we experience the longest day on 21st june and the shortest day on 22nd december satellite satellite is an object that revolves around a planet there are two types of satellite artificial satellites and a natural satellite an artificial satellite is an object that has been intentionally placed into the orbit. They are used for all sort of purposes like communication, navigation, weather forecasting and many other purposes. They receive and send radio and television signals and gather and send information back to the earth. The earth's natural satellite is the moon. As I have discussed earlier that there are two types of satellites, natural satellites and artificial satellite. The moon is the earth's natural satellite. It revolves around the earth. Moon completes its one revolution around the earth in 28 days. As we are discussing about the moon, do you know who was the first man who landed on the moon? Obviously you do. Neil Armstrong was the first man who landed on the moon in 1969 in a spacecraft called Apollo 11. So in the first picture you can see this is the Neil Armstrong 
who first stepped on the moon and in the second picture this is his spacecraft Apollo 11 in which he was sent to the moon okay students now what you have to do you are going to read the chapter thoroughly from page 2 till page number 5 and you are going to underline these highlighted points in your book after reading the chapter thoroughly okay students that's all for the today's lecture i hope after watching the lecture and listening the lecture and reading the chapter thoroughly you would be able to answer the following questions number one what is the shape of the earth number two what is axis and equator number two what is the rotation and revolution of the earth number four what are satellites and you can name the person who first stepped on the moon the shortest and the longest day of the year in northern hemisphere so students before starting your written work you are going to label your classwork and hoover copy this is your sst classwork and hoover copy it is four line interleaf copy as i have mentioned earlier you are going to write your name class section and the subject and the most important thing you are going to write your roll number over here that has been given to you with your result so students that is all for the today's lecture the next chapter which we will start is the communication till then stay home stay safe and study hard take care and Allah Hafiz